Welcome to Square 21 in Season 2 of the Wrapped in Jamie Cull. This square was designed by Veronica Godolov. Veronica has generously contributed this square to the Wrapped in Jamie Cull free of charge for you. And this is the video tutorial to explain how to do it. I'm going to use a coordinate ply from Maker which is a Lincraft, an Australian company, and the color is Nile Blue, in case you're wondering. And I'm also using a four millimeter hook for that. This square needs a little bit of attention, especially in the later rounds. So maybe not ideal to do with any TV background. Or you may have the background, but you will probably miss out on the action. So let's get started with a magic circle for that. I just grabbed my tail and I'm wrapping the yarn around two fingers in form of an X. I insert the hook with my working hand from the working side. Then I grab that other end and I'm turning my hook. Then I grab the continuing yarn and with a twist of the hand I pull the yarn through that loop that I've created. Then I let go and I'm going to pinch this a little bit and then I'm starting with a bigger loop at the beginning. You could also do a chain one but I find that this creates a little bit of a bulky bit here so I prefer to start with a loop but that's up to you. Alternatively, you could also start with um, two or three chains and if you're, if you're making two chains, you just work into the first chain that you made. So the second chain from your hook. And we do round one, which is a single crochet, chain two, single Oh, single crochet chain two four times into the magic circle. So single crochet chain two, single crochet chain two. That's the third time. And now this is the fourth time that I'm doing this. Then I close my circle, magic circle. I will be working over the tail and I just slip stitch into that first loop, the first single crochet that we made. And that is round one. We continue with round two, chain one, and then we make a corner. And the corner is a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that corner space from round one. That's always our corner unless stated otherwise. So if I say we'll make a corner, that's single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and we always start our round with a chain one. Now for round two we're working in the back loop only of the next stitch like so and then there's only this one stitch to work into and the next stitch is not really a stitch is a chain two space and we're working our corner into that chain two space and here is that stitch where we work a back loop again. So we do that four times. We're halfway through. Corner, single crochet in back loop only. Another corner. And this is the last time that we're working a single crochet in the back loop only. And then we skip this chain one and we always skip this, we totally neglect it, and we work a slip stitch into that first single crochet of the starting corner to close our round. Now on, on this fourth side, sometimes the single crochet in back loop is a little bit difficult to, to see because there are so many stitches here, so many loops here. So I'm just going to mark this with a stitch marker. And if you like to work with stitch markers, then I recommend to place one in each of those three front loops.
Now in round three, chain one and corner stitches. Now we're starting the round with a half treble in front loop. If you've marked that free front loop, you will have a stitch marker here. Otherwise, this is the one you're working into. Half treble means we yarn over twice, we go through two loops, and then we go through all three. And we skip the stitch behind here, behind this special stitch, and we work a single crochet in the next. And we finish the round symmetrically, which means we're going back into the same front loop, also with a half treble. And because we stitch, we skip the stitch behind here, we work directly into the corner now. Let's just do that again. So we're making a half treble, yarn over, we find the free front loop, we work a tr half treble into that front loop, skip the stitch behind, single crochet in the next, and again, half treble in the same front loop as before. We go back one stitch and down two rounds and work our half treble. Super easy. And because it's so quick, let's just do it two more times together. Half treble. Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, half treble, going back, and the corner, and one more time. <laughs> there we go. Half treble. Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, and going back in the same front loop, also with a half treble, and then at the end we just slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner. And that's round three done. In round four, we're going to work a special stitch, the HTC BBX. But first, a single crochet after the corner, and now the HTC BBX. Usually a HTC BB would mean that we're working in the skipped stitches in the top loops here, of the stitches of the stitch that was skipped when we made the special stitch. With a HTC BBX, we work into the top loops of the next stitch and also the top loops of that skipped stitch, two rounds below. So we insert the hook as just shown and then we're working a HTC. And I'm going to adjust the height of this stitch to match the height of the previous single crochet. And you may notice that they look very similar. You see those, the single crochet and the HDCBB, they look very similar. And also what happens is uh, the HDCBB X closes the top of that stitch. So that's what we're doing. Single crochet, HDCBB X, and repeat that, single crochet, another HDCBB X. So we go through the top loops and also through the top loops of that skip stitch and I'm just working over the end of my tail here again and then I adjust the height and we finish with a single crochet. Let's do that on the next side one more time together. So that's a single crochet, a HTC BBX, Just a size, single crochet, 
and again HDCBBX. And we finish with a single crochet. And I just did two more times, so I'll repeat the last round, uh, the last side two more times. Oops, and then close your round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of that starting corner here. And then we are already in round five. We're going to have a very special stitch in round five, but before that we're working a chain one and the corner and then two single crochet. Now first we're working a front post treble, zero minus two. That means the next stitch here, which is zero, we from this one we go down two rounds. That's one, two rounds done. Oh, that is the treble that we made two rounds previous, two rounds earlier. So we're just working straight down around this stitch with a front post treble, zero minus two. And we skip the stitch behind this treble and we always skip the stitch behind each special stitch. And then we're working a single crochet. Now we're working that very special stitch that I mentioned. So we're going to make a front post treble again, same as before, almost, instead that this time we're going to insert the hook from the opposite side. So usually I would go around like this and I'm just going to grab my stitch to make it easier and now I'm going to insert the hook from the opposite side, which is from right to left for a right-hander and left to right for a left-hander and then I'm going to pull the yarn under the stitch and under this first loop from our yarn over. And then I should have four loops on the hook and I'm just working my treble as usual. Skip the stitch behind and work another two single crochet at the end of the side. Now I'm just going to make the corner and we'll do that again once more together. Starting with two single crochet. I'm now working a front post treble, zero minus two. Zero, I'm not going ahead or behind, I'm just working around this stitch here. And because we made the HDCVBX, it looks a little bit pulled, uh, it looks as if it was pulled a little bit to the side, but it's directly below. Then we skip one stitch and we make a single crochet. And now we're working our front post treble, zero minus two, from the opposite side. So I just insert my hook so that I can grab this little stitch here and then I go and insert it from the other side. I bring my yarn to the front and I'm going to pull it just behind the stitch and that yarn over here to have four loops on the hook and I just work my normal treble stitch. And I skip the stitch behind this special stitch and I work two single crochet towards the next corner. And that's half of the round done already. So you just do this last bit two more times and then close the round with a slip stitch. And I see you for round six. So far so good, right? Wasn't that bad? And round six is going to be easy as well. So first the corner, whoops, look at that. I'm in the wrong place. There we go, in the corner. And here we are. So we start with three single crochet this time. Now we're working our normal DCBB. DCBB means we're working in the background layer. We make a double crochet, DC, behind and below, BB. So DCBB, which means we're working in the top loops of the skipped stitch with a double crochet. So that's easy enough. 
And usually we skip the stitch behind the special stitch, but with a DCBB we have to skip the stitch in front because we're working behind that special stitch. So we skip the stitch in front. Now a single crochet and again a DCBB. So you see super easy, super quick to work too. And then just three single crochet at the end of the side here. Let's do that together one more time. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner space, three single, a DCBB, a double crochet worked in the top loops of the skip stitch, two rounds below. Single crochet, another DCBB, and three single crochet. Oops. Skip that stitch in front of the DCBB and we're working three single. Easy enough. Okay, I'll leave you to the other two sides and to join with a slip stitch in the starting corner. And I'll see you for round seven. In round seven, we're also going to have only two special stitches, which are mirrored. So it's quite easy as well. We start with four single crochet. Now we're going to make a front post treble from the opposite side, plus two, minus two, which means we will be working around the stitch one, two ahead and one, two down. So that's this um, treble on the, on the opposite side here. So yeah, now one twice for the treble. Then I'm just going to grab the stitch and then insert the hook from the opposite side and I pull the yarn through and then through two, through two, like a normal treble. Okay, and I'm going to skip this stitch here, single crochet in the next, and I'm going to work a front post treble under, which means I'm working under this stitch, the stitch that is crossing. So I go under here and I'm just grabbing, oh, so let's count. We're going back two and down two. So that's one, two back and then one, two down, which of course is the other, other front post treble here. So going back or going under, and then I grab the stitch here and pull it through a little bit so that I can work around it. And then I'm working my front post treble minus two, minus two around the stitch and then I just pull it back a little bit. So I skip this stitch here and I finish the side easy enough with four single crochet. Okay, and then we've got the corner. So let's do it together again. Now four single crochet. Now our front post treble plus two minus two. We're working around this stitch, but from the opposite side. Then we skip one stitch and we'll work one single crochet in the next. And now we're working back around this stitch here, but under the one it is crossing, under the one we just made. So we pull that stitch out and we work our front post travel minus two, minus two around this stitch. And then we skip the stitch behind this special stitch and we make four single crochet. And that's it for this side. So just repeat the last side two more times. Close with the slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner 
and we do round eight together then. Now for round eight, I'm going to have two blue stitch markers ready and one red one. And I'll insert them as we go. So we start with a chain one again and then the corner. And now we'll make two single crochets. And then I'm going to place a stitch marker in the front loop of the last single crochet I just made. And then I'll make another two single crochet. We're going in the same round, this single, uh, this front loop here. Okay, now I'm working a front post DC plus one minus one, which means from here I go one ahead and one down, so that's one down. So I'm working a front post double crochet around this stitch here, like so. And the next stitch is again our HTC BBX. So let's do it together. We skip that stitch behind here, behind that double crochet. And you can see the top loops we want to work in are just above this little gap. Here yeah, there is a gap. And we're working in the top loops of the next stitch and also in the top loops of the uh, skipped stitch which is creating this gap. And we're closing this gap with a half double crochet. So we'll just go in there. Then we're working a single crochet in the back loop only. And I'm placing my red stitch marker that I've got here in the front loop there. And then again, a HDC BBX. So going through the top loops of the next stitch and also the top loops of the skipped stitch, which is directly below, two rounds below. And then um, I make a front post DC again, and this time I'm making it again from the opposite side. So usually I would insert my hook from this direction, but for this one, I'm just going to grab the stitch, hold it because it's so short, and I insert the hook from the other side, grab the yarn, pull it through. So I've got three loops on the hook, and I go through two and go through two. So now I've got to skip one stitch, and if you're unsure which stitch that is, you can count back four from the opposite corner here. So one, two, three, four, that's what I need. So that means this is the stitch that I have to skip. And I'm working again two single crochet. Oh, actually, I'm working three single crochet. And now I'm going to place my other blue stitch marker in the front loop of the last single crochet I just made. And I'll make one more single crochet. Okay, so let's do this one more time. And this time I'm doing it without the stitch markers. So, so four single crochet. And if you want to use stitch markers, you would place one in the second stitch after the corner which is the second of those single crochets that you made. Then the front post, double crochet, plus one, minus one, worked around this stitch here. We skip the stitch behind this front post double crochet, and now we're working a HTC BBX, working through the top loops and the loops of the skipped stitch below. I'm just finishing with a half double crochet. And we've got one single crochet in the back loop only. 
back, not only. Now we are working a HTC BB again. Top loops and top loops. We're going back, minus one, minus one, and we work a front post double crochet, but from the opposite side. I'm just going to grab the stitch, and then I work from the opposite side. And now I have to skip one stitch and finish with four single crochet. And again, if you want to use stitch markers, you would place them in the second single crochet back from the corner, which is the third, one, two, three, third of the single crochets that we just made in the front loop only. So that's round eight for you. And you just have to repeat the last side two more times and then close with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner and then we continue with round nine. So now let's do round nine together, which is a very nice round to make. We start with a chain one in the corner, of course, and then our, our first stitch is already a treble and we're working this in front loop. It's a treble plus two minus one, which means we go ahead one, two, and there we are already. This is the front loop of the stitch from the round one below. And we work in this front loop and may I suggest to if you like working with front loop uh, with stitch markers, may I suggest to leave that one in for now until you've worked round 10. We skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the back loop only. That's where we worked in the front loop. And now two more single crochet. And here we're making here we're making our HDC BB. So go through the top loops and also through the top loops of the skipped stitch. So actually HDC BBX. And we work our HDC BB. And then we'll make one single crochet in the next stitch. Oops. And this should bring you to the middle stitch. And now we're working a 4DC cluster in this free front loop here. I'm going to take the stitch marker out for this one. So the 4DC cluster means we start working DCs, but we always leave the last uh, um, yarn over and pull through out until we've got four DCs that we have begun and then we pull through all through and I like to close with uh, chain one as well. I skip one stitch, single crochet in the next, then a HDC BB again. So working through top loops of the next stitch and the top loops of the stitch two rounds below. Making a HDC and pull it close to the same height. Then two single crochet, a single crochet in the back loop only, and one more single crochet. And the last stitch is going to mirror this stitch here, which means we're going to work in the front loop here, where we've got that stitch marker. And then we're in the corner. Let's do it together without the stitch markers. So this is our first stitch where we're making the treble. We go ahead, one, two, and that's the front loop we want to work in. 
we skip this first stitch here single crochet single crochet in the back loop only and two single crochet then a HTC BBX where we're working in the top loops here another single crochet and then we've got that free front loop here in which we work the 4DC cluster so starting a double crochet but not finishing it oops we do that four times And then I pull through all loops on the hook and close with a chain one. Single crochet, a HDC BB, then two single crochet, a single crochet in the back loop only, another single crochet. Now we're working back with a treble in front loop. We go back two stitches and down one round, which is the front loop that we just passed. And that's it. So repeat the last side two more times to finish off round nine and then close the round with a slip stitch and we'll do round 10 together. We're now working round 10. We start with a chain one and of course the corner stitches here. Then one single crochet and a HTC BB through the top loops and the top loops of the skip stitch. Working around the stitch here, around the loops. Three single crochet And then we work a treble minus two minus two. So to count would be we start from this as a zero, one, two, and then one, two down, which is the front loop where we've got the stitch marker. Actually, we can take that out now. We just work our treble into this front loop. We skip the stitch behind and then we'll make one single crochet. Our next stitch is a front post treble minus one minus two. So to count back would be minus one and then minus one, two, which is this stitch. It's a little bit pushed to the side from making that HDCBB here in the previous round. But we just work around this stitch. We're making a DCBB, a double crochet behind this 4DC cluster, or maybe you made a popcorn stitch. And then our next stitch is again a front post treble, but this time from the opposite side. So you see that on this side, the stitch is a little bit pushed to the same side into, into our working direction, also from the HDCBB. So we're just going to grab that. So remember, we're working from the opposite side. So I'm going to make room for my hook. And then I work my front post treble around the stitch from the opposite side, which is from left to right for right handers and right to left for left handers. We skip one stitch and then a single crochet. Now we're working a treble in front loop, plus two minus two, which we know is going to be this front loop. Then we skip the stitch behind this treble and we'll work three single crochet. HTC BBX. and a single crochet at the end. 
So to do round two together, I have to wait a little bit because it's starting to rain heavily here and you may not be <laughs> able to hear what I'm saying. So i see you in just a sec. I've got a little window here. Let's hope that it lasts long enough to make this side. So, single crochet, HDCBB, three single crochet, a treble, minus two, minus two in front loop which is this one, we know that from the previous round, uh, previous side. Skip one stitch, one single crochet. Then a front post treble minus one, minus two. We go around the stitch here. A DCBB working behind the cluster into the top loops of the stitch two rounds below. A front post treble from the opposite side, grabbing my stitch here, working it from the opposite side. Skip that stitch. One single crochet, treble plus two, minus two, That stitch, three single, a HDCBB, and one single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so that was easy, and now we're going to repeat that two more times so this side we'll repeat that two more times and then we'll close our round with a slip stitch and i'll see you in round 11. we start round 11 with our chain one and the corner of course and then with a front post treble plus two minus two. So we're going to work this front post treble around the stitch one, two ahead and one, two down, which is this treble here. Now we'll skip the stitch and then we work five single crochet. Then a HDCBB, a single crochet, a normal DCBB, another single crochet, another DCBB working in the top loops of the skipped stitch two rounds below a single crochet a HDCBB five single crochet And the last stitch on the side is again a treble, a front post treble. This time work from the opposite side around this stitch here. So I grab my stitch, insert the hook from the opposite side, and I work around it, making a treble. And then we go into the corner. Let's do that again. 
the front post treble around the stitch here. Skip one stitch, five single crochet. HDCBB single crochet a normal DCBB working a double crochet into the skipped loops a single crochet and this single crochet is in the middle that's a middle stitch the center stitch another DCBB A single crochet, a HDCBB, five single crochet, and that front post trouble from the opposite side. So that's halfway through round 11. Just repeat the last side two more times and then close the round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner and we'll be together again for round 12. Now before we officially begin round 12, let's just place some stitch markers. First, we, um, we'll place one in the third stitch after the corner. So we've got one, that special stitch here, then another one, and this is the third stitch. So between this special stitch here, that front post and the one where we place the stitch marker there's another stitch and we go the same from the other side so there's a special stitch we leave one blank and then we place a stitch marker in the front loop of the third stitch back from the corner okay so now we're starting round 12 We'll go slow because we need to concentrate a little bit for this one. This, the beginning is easy with a single crochet and then a HDC BB. Okay, then single crochet and a single crochet in the back loop only. That's the one with the stitch marker. And another single crochet. Now we're going to work back into that front loop here that we've marked with a treble. So it's a treble minus two minus one in front loop. We're working into this front loop here. And we skip one stitch and then we work three single crochet. So for the next stitch, which is the two together, we will be working both legs from the opposite side. And we will be working around this stitch and this stitch. So let's go slow. We start with the first leg, working around this stitch here, which goes back to and down to. So back two stitches and down two rounds. Working from the opposite side, a treble leg, and then again a treble leg around 
this stitch again worked from the opposite side. And then together. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So after this, we find the next stitch. We'll, we skip one and then in the center stitch, we work another single crochet. And now we're working a two together stitch again. This time we are inserting the hook from the normal side, but our first leg is worked under the second leg of the previous two together stitch. See this here was the second leg of this two together stitch and we're going to work under this and around this stitch here and then the second leg goes around this stitch here. So let's do the first leg. So we go under and I'm just going to grab this stitch so that I can better work around it. And then the second leg also goes from the normal side around here. Then we skip one stitch and we work three single crochet. A treble plus two minus one one, zero, one, two, so around this front loop or in this, oops, in this front loop. I lost the yarn over there. We skip one stitch, single, back loop, single. Then a HDCBB. And a single crochet in the last stitch. And then we're working our corner again. And if you want to join me, we can do this side together again. A single crochet and then a HDC BB. Single back loop single on this side I'm working without stitch markers you see then I go back with a treble minus two minus one in that front loop that I just created or that I just left free skip one stitch three single I'm working a two together stitch around this leg and this leg here with the first leg around this stitch and the second leg around this stitch. And we're working both from the opposite side. And here, around this one, opposite side. Skip one stitch and again, a single crochet in the center stitch here. Then our two together where both legs are treble legs again and the first one is worked around this stitch, the second around this stitch, but the first one goes under the stitch of this crossing which is leg two of the previous stitch here. So it's under leg two of the stitch it is crossing. And then the second leg is like a normal front post leg, front post treble leg, like that. So this is what it should look like for you. I skip one stitch, three single crochet, a treble plus two minus one, zero, one, two. And this is the front loop we're working in. Skip one stitch, single, back loop, single. A HDCVB. A 
and a single crochet. And that's halfway through round 12. So just repeat that on the other two sides. And then as usual, close with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner. And we'll do round 13 together. We don't necessarily need them right now or in the next round, but let's just place some stitch markers if you want to work with them. And actually, in fact, even if you usually don't, these are suggested stitch markers, while the others working in front loops, I usually leave them as optional. I would suggest to use these stitch markers just to make it easier for us later on to find the correct stitches. So I've placed one stitch marker in the top of that two together A there, and another, a different color, in the top of the second two together, which was the two together B. If you're so inclined, you can also place an additional stitch marker around this first leg, same color as this one, and around this leg, or alternatively, later on when we do that, we can remove them and then place them around that first leg as soon as we've worked into them. So, but first, let's do round 13. So, chain one, of course, and the corner. And we start with a single crochet in the first stitch and then a double treble in front loop, which is this front loop here. We'll be working three ahead and two rounds down. I'm just going to remove that three yarn overs for the double treble. And if that feels too long for you, just make a treble. As always, you need to adjust to your tension, your personal tension. Okay, the next stitch will be worked under this stitch here, and it will be a front post treble. We're going to work around this stitch, but under this one. So we go under, I'm going to pull this up a little bit, and I'm working my front post treble around this stitch. Now we made two special stitches after another, so we have to, to, to skip two stitches, one, two, which means we're working into this um, stitch with a single crochet and then two more single crochets. And we're making a half double crochet behind and below again, and that's special variation, that HDCBB. one single crochet in the next stitch and again working from the opposite side around this stitch here from the previous round so usually we would go from here and we're now going from the opposite side i'm just actually going to turn around my work here and then I'm turning it back to work this treble. Oh. Let's do that again. On the opposite side. Go through two, go through two, and go through two. There we go. We skip one stitch and single crochet in the next one. Now we're working a double crochet in the top loops of the skipped stitch behind this special stitch here. The one we marked with, I marked with a red stitch marker. Single crochet in the next stitch. Again, this is the center stitch. That's in the middle of the side. And another double crochet behind and below the next special stitch 
is always give the stitches in front of the double DCBBs and then another single crochet here. Now we're working ahead two stitches and down one with a front post treble. That's this stitch here. Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next. And then a HDCBB. We go through the top loops and also through the top loops of the skipped stitch. HDC BBX. Done that very often now, so you should be very familiar with this one. Three single. And we're going to work around this stitch here, but from the opposite side with a front post treble. Go through two, go through two, go through two. Our next stitch is a double treble in front loop. We will be working into this front loop, but under the stitch we just made. So I'm going under the stitch and I go into this front loop, pull it through a little bit. I work my double treble. And then I just pull it back and again we have to skip two stitches which means there is one stitch left at the end of the side for our single crochet let's do it one together one more time this side without the stitch markers we start with a single crochet then a double treble in front loop, we go in this front loop here. Then we work under the stitch we just made with a front post treble around this stitch there. We skip two stitches because we just made two special stitches. One, two, and the first of three single crochet in the next. Then a HDC BBX. One single crochet. And then a front post treble from the opposite side around this stitch here, the one we just passed. Skip one stitch, single crochet, which should fall just before this two together stitch. And then a DCBB, double crochet behind this two together. A single crochet in the center stitch and another double crochet behind and below. Then another single crochet. We're going to work forward with a front post treble around this stitch. Skip one stitch, single crochet, a HDCBB through the top loops and the skipped loops. Carefully adjusting, three single crochet. Now a front post treble from the opposite side around the stitch below two rounds below and then a double treble in front loop under the stitch we just made into this front loop here which I'm going to pull through so that I can work under 
and then just pull that back. We skip two stitches and work a single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so that is round 13. Just looking a little bit with the placement and being careful which stitch to work under and which one to work over. But yeah, just repeat this last side two more times and then close with a slip stitch into the starting corner, into the single crochet of the starting corner. And then we'll do round 14. There we go.